everybody, it's Becky. Welcome back to my channel. In today's Disney video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys what we are bringing with us into the parks for our trip to Disney. We go to Disney every year in May, and um, so over the years, I have learned what we need to bring, what we don't need to bring, and I would say, I definitely don't go like bare bones, bare necessities. I like to have a couple extra things, but I definitely don't wanna carry this huge backpack or have my husband carry this huge backpack of stuff that we don't need. So over the years, I've learned what we really use and not to bring anything extra. So that's what I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. If you are interested in seeing any of my other Disney videos, I do a Disney series on my channel every year. I will have my Disney playlist linked for you guys in the description box where you can check out every single Disney video I have ever made, including any previous what's in our park bag videos. I typically do that every year as well. It doesn't change a whole lot, but I think it's still fun to share and I thought it'd be helpful to link that for you guys. There's also some really good videos in there on going to Disney with kids and packing videos and how I saved over $1,000 on just this year's Disney trip alone. So some really great Disney videos if you're interested. So make sure you check out that playlist. So if you want to see what we typically bring with us to Disney World when we go to the parks, then stay tuned. So this is the backpack that we always bring to Disney. It was pretty cheap. We just got it at Walmart and it works out pretty nicely. This is the first year of going to Disney without a stroller. So that's a little scary, but I'm sure it'll be okay. The only problem is there's going to be nowhere to put our stuff. So everything we want to have with us, we have to kind of keep in the backpack. But that's okay. I still try to keep it fairly light um, as much as possible. So first thing I always do uh, before a trip is I use a, um, a binder ring to attach our magic bands to the backpack. That way, until we get there, um, I know they're together and we're not going to lose them and we're not going to forget them, unless we forget the backpack, obviously. Um, you may notice these are special because this year I have these Magic Band decals that I got from an Etsy shop that I will link down below. So we each have our own custom Magic Band decal, and I did show these in a different video, and I'm not sure if that's gone up or not yet. This one's mine. Look how cute it is. Um, I thought that was a really neat way to personalize the Magic Bands, make it a little bit more fun and easier to just distinguish them from each other. So those are our magic bands. They will live there on the outside of the backpack until we check into the resort. In this front little pouch, I guess on the side, I have my Honest Hand Sanitizer. I like this a lot better because it doesn't have a lot of dangerous chemicals. Um, so we always bring this now to just spray hands in between like after rides or something like that. Clorox wipes, like travel ones, I always bring these and I have a backup bag of these in um, my other suitcase just to wipe tables if we sit down somewhere and the table's dirty or anything. You never know when you need a Clorox wipe. So I always bring these on every trip and I carry them in my purse at home too because you never know when you need a Clorox wipe. So those are in that little pouch. On this other pouch, I just have this little thing, which I brought last year, and it worked out really well. It hooks around my phone, and that way I can just carry it either around my neck or on my shoulder and use my phone to take pictures and video, which did work out pretty well last year. It was a lot easier than bringing the camcorder. I am still going to bring the camcorder just in case, um, but for now, that's going to be in there. And I got this from Amazon. If I can remember, I will link it. Um, it worked out pretty well, so I'm bringing that again. And on this side, I just have a sunscreen, which I have two extra ones packed in a different suitcase, but I've got one to keep in the backpack so we can reapply throughout the day. And then in this front zippered pouch, I have the fans that the girls can wear around their necks. I've talked about these before. They came from Bed Bath & Beyond. They just have a string where they can hang around your neck, and it's a personal fan. It blows straight up out of this little spot right here. And they put out a lot of air, so they are really nice to have when it's hot. So got both of those for the girls. And then in this envelope, I just have our, I can't turn it around because it's got personal information, but I've got our like coupon booklet that Disney sends you when you have a reservation. I've got our universal tickets, which were e-tickets, so I had to print them. And I've got some Rainforest Cafe gift certificates that are also printable. So those are all in this little pouch. And then down in here, I've got a little package of bubbles. I'm telling you, bubbles are the best thing to bring to Disney. I mean, after sunscreen, they're just amazing. They will keep kids entertained forever. So I've got these bubbles, and I've got backup bubbles in um, an extra suitcase that I have. But these are just the ones that I bring to the park. And as the girls use them, I can just refill them each night at the hotel. But always bring bubbles and then I have my little pill container now this is stuff I don't take on a daily basis so this is like Pepto pills um, Tylenol pills or Tylenol um, 
times and things like that. Um, so those are all in here. So what is not in here right now is my vitamins I take every day. I have to take a vitamin D supplement and I take a, um, a special iron supplement. I have to take those. Those are not in the backpack yet because I'm still taking them here at home. So I was not ready to pack those yet. Um, but they will go in here also. Uh, not in this container, but they'll go in the backpack when it gets a little bit closer to time. I think that's everything that's in that pouch. Yeah. And just to kind of share with you some other things that are not in here just yet, other than my vitamins, um, our sunglasses and the girls' sun hats, those are in the car because they'll need those, you know, on the drive down there. Not the hats, but the sunglasses are in the car, and the hats will stay in the trunk. That way, when we get our park bag out of the trunk the first day we're going to the park, um, their sun hats will be right there. Oh, Loki came to visit. Hi, Loki. Hi. Are you sniffing my backpack? Oh, he's hot. He's been outside. Um, also, what is not in here is um, any snacks we take to the park. <laughs> Lay down. So, like any granola bars or anything like that. Lay down, honey. Any snacks that we may plan to take are not in the bag right now. Um, also, my husband's portable phone charger, which we take every year. So, that way, if your phone dies, you can just charge it from that. And I'll try to link the one we have. Um, and then my husband's and my extra glasses case. I'm going to bring my prescription glasses. I plan to wear contacts, but that way if something happens, I will have, if something happens with my contacts, I can go ahead and switch to my, my regular glasses. Um, so I will have to bring my glasses, and so I'll have to have a glasses case for that. But anyway, um, the next thing I have is this bag, and this is what I keep the girls glow things in. I've talked before a million times over how we always bring our own glow sticks and glow toys to keep the girls, like to give the girls at night when it gets dark, um, whether we're waiting for parades or just walking around, it makes it more fun. And so I have a whole other bag of glow items that I'm going to be bringing, um, which I may show you here in a minute, but I don't, I don't bring them all in the backpack at once. I just bring a couple at a time and then refill the bag every night. But I've got like this glow crown for my youngest daughter. I've got these basic glow sticks that came from the Dollar Tree. And then these are amazing. So I've got two of these and I already opened one. Those are those have not been opened and like the tab has not been pulled out yet of the battery, so I don't want to open them. But this one I've 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 untabbed. And it's a fiber optic little thing you can wave around and it's got different settings. These came from Oriental Trading Company. They are amazing. I remember buying one like this from Kings Island when I was a kid. So how cool are these? I mean, these are the most awesome things ever. So I am super excited to have these in our glow stick bag this year. I think the girls will love them. So they each have one of those. And I'm going to go ahead and show you my backup glow stick bag. Like these are the things that I had in there um, like for the first night or two. But I also have this whole bag, which is in my um, other like suitcase. All these are glow things. I've got another crown from the Dollar Tree. This My Little Pony light up stick thing that came from Target a couple years ago. I've got this little flower wand that glows that came from the Dollar Tree. I've got this glow bracelet kit that came from Dollar Tree. It's like a bell one. And they also had um, Cinderella, another Cinderella, because I didn't know if my oldest daughter would like them. I got a bell crown that uses glow sticks. I got another bracelet kit. This one's mermaid. Uh, another little mermaid. My oldest daughter wanted a Spider-Man one, so she's got a Spider-Man one. But she does know about that one. The rest of these things are surprises. And then, I don't know why, but I have another bell crown. I also have these, which I shared in a Dollar Tree haul a while back. So yes, they did come from the Dollar Tree, but they do light up. And I thought they would be really, really neat to give the girls at night, especially on the night that we're at Magic Kingdom and we eat at Be Our Guest. Because, you know, they've got little roses and stuff everywhere. I thought these were super cute. They did have red ones, too. And these were there around Valentine's Day. But I saw them just the other day. So they did still have them at my store. Um, the bad thing is you cannot replace the batteries. But I thought these were so pretty. And just something fun to have at night in the park. So those are all the glow type thingies that we're bringing. Um, back to the backpack. Let's see what else we've got in here. I've got this little pouch, which did come from the Dollar Tree. I shared that in a recent Dollar Tree haul. And this basically has it is so hard to do things one-handed anyway this basically has kind of personal necessities so it's got my feminine products in it and then just a pack of tissues i love this little pouch too the little flamingos are really super cute 
And then down at the bottom, I have more kind of essentials. These are, of course, powder, you know, because that's an essential. But I've got a pressed powder in case I want to just like freshen up or something. I've got some oil blotting sheets. I've got a kind of neutral lip gloss just to put on. And again, with kind of the glasses and contact situation, in case I need to take my contacts out, I brought some contact cl cleanser and I brought my drops that I use when I put my contacts in or when they get dry. I've got some hair ties, some band-aids, my contacts case, um, a glasses cleaning wipe, and then the spray for that, a comb. And then these little wisp things that I got at the Dollar Tree. Well, they actually, these aren't the wisp brand. This is the Crest Scope brand. Um, but same thing. These little tiny toothbrushes that you don't need water for. I've got some in my glove compartment. So for the drive to Disney, I can kind of brush my teeth. And then these, just in case I want to freshen up when I'm at the parks. I can't stand not brushing my teeth for very long. So I brought those last year, and they worked out really well. They taste kind of gross, but it's better than having gross breath. So... That is what is in this little bag. And then in the same big compartment in the very back, I have these two neck cooling towels that came from the Dollar Tree. I just took them out of the package that they were in and put them in this baggie. So you wet them and then they get cold and you put them around your neck. We've never used them, but I thought if it gets hot enough, we may need to. So I brought those. And then we have in the very back four ponchos, again, from the Dollar Tree. And honestly... When we get these and we use them, we throw them away. We do not try to save them and lay them out flat until they dry and all that stuff because they I never can get them to dry. So we just get the cheap ones and then throw them away when we have used them. Luckily, we don't have to use them very often. And a lot of times, even if it sprinkles, we'll just wear our jacket with a hood. But if it gets really, really rainy, we will wear a poncho. So we each have one of these, and then I have four extra ones in my suitcase um, just in case we do use these. I've got four more that I can replace, um, replace with them. So that is everything we're bringing. I mean, we're going to have some water bottles that we'll either carry or maybe slip into one of the pockets or something. Other than that, that's pretty much all we take to the parks. I try to keep it pretty basic. I know I don't need to bring bubbles, and I don't have to bring glow things, but those things just really help to keep the girls entertained. It makes it more special and more fun. And so I do like to bring those. They don't really add a whole lot of extra weight. So I think it's worth it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing what is in our park bag and what we take to the parks pretty much any given trip to Disney. Check out my Disney playlist linked in the description box. It has every single Disney video that I have ever made. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of this video. If you want to see two of my older videos, you can click the links right here. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, if you haven't already, and you definitely should, you can click right here. I upload every single week. I have some links in the description box for some of my favorite stores and products, as well as my PO box address. Check out those links if you're interested in those. And I will see you guys in the next video.